What's up, YouTube family? It's your girl, Jasmine. This is your boy, if you can see me, D in the building, what's good? So we just wanted to pop on and share some things with you. The five things that we do not like about Houston. Right. Okay, because we get a lot of questions. What do y'all like? What don't y'all like? Well, we want to dedicate this video for five things we don't like. Y'all ready? Let's get to it. Hi, it's Sia Jasmine, and Mommy said so you see Yeah, and we're gonna talk about what? Do you know? Yeah. Five things we don't yeah. like about Houston. Da -da. Da -da -da. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Hey. <laughs> Traffic and driving in Houston. So even though that's kind of two separate things, traffic and then the driving, but it's related. So it's we'll related. Put it as number one, number. okay? Because the traffic is crazy. I thought coming from Chicago, which is already crazy traffic, if you've ever been to Chicago, we only got like one major highway, so it's just always jam packed. Always. 94, 90, whatever. Um, I thought that's like it the worst it could get. But coming to Houston, I was in for a surprise. I feel like there's just always traffic for like no reason, like no reason at all. What and most times it's not even an accident. It's just I don't know. What is it, babe? Like, what are people be doing? So it's just it's just one of the things where we notice like there are a few intersections where the exits are just kind of mar the like merging. merging. And it's messing. It's so. It's such a bad merge that it literally slows down it traffic. It be a better flow. But better it's not flow. A better flow. But so then, to that point, also the driving. So dri No, no, no. Not the driving. The drivers. Okay. The oh, people man. who are in the car operating the vehicles. Talk about it. Talk about it. When I say, folks in Houston, I love y'all. Hey, don't be polite. Let them know. I was gonna say, you know, I was let, trying to be nah, nice. No, let them know. <laughs> The world <laughs> needs to know. Folks in Houston cannot drive. Man, y'all can't drive at all. Zero. It is what it is. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my Lord. God damn. Okay, he's a little, he's a little extra, but. No, but it is like, I feel like the cutoff, like we were just on the road today and somebody was driving in the right lane. Someone came up on the left side and literally just jumped right in front of them. No blinker. There wasn't even no cars in front or behind the person. They weren't even about to turn on the right side. They just felt like jumping over and they just jumped over and like cut the person off. We get a lot of that. And we get a lot of, you know, when we trying to get over, we, you know, put on a little blinker, try to wave and get someone's attention. Hey, can you know, is it okay if I pop over there? They look at you and they speed, speed right up. Speed right up. Okay, man. past you. Speed right up past you, acting like they don't see you. Okay, just rude. Ruthless out here. So, yeah. It, and it, it bothered me to the point where I had to come home, right? And I had to Google like traffic and like accidents in Houston. And I was shocked to see that Houston is like one of the top one or two. Play. I think Dallas is first and then Houston is second of like very like high rates of accidents. It's even above Chicago, which I thought Chicago was bad. So. That's, that was interesting to me, and I can see why. So, number one, y'all some bad drivers, terrible traffic. That's like number one, number five, that's like <laughs> everything, boy. H-Town. But well, we still love y'all. We still love y'all, man. What's going up, man? Grocery shopping, as y'all can see, man. We getting on the health tip. You feel me? The anniversary is in two more months. We gotta get in shape, because we got a vacation we gotta do. Right. Look, some something we gotta do. Nope, right. nope, nope, nope. Zoe. Zoe, come on now, buddy. No, mama. You, no, mom and dad over here working. You over here trying to sneak up these stairs. Come on now. Stop it. All right, man. So next up, the bugs, okay? It's real out here. Like, it's a real jungle. 
<laughs> out here in Houston, Texas. If you are coming from the Midwest, I don't know how the East Coast get down. I can't speak for y'all, but the dirty, dirty South, listen, we was not ready. We was not ready, okay? First encounter, frog, okay? I literally got out of my car and almost literally stepped on a frog, like this close. And the frog is like this big, okay? They even be hanging out in the front door at nighttime, talking up a storm. <laughs> Wasn't ready for that, okay? The baby lizards. I don't even like calling them baby lizards because I feel like, you know, we've seen the big lizards as well, but lizards, they be everywhere, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, so quick story. I got my daughter in my hand, my left hand. I'm opening up the door, you know what I'm saying? I see a package on the front steps. As I open up the door, a lizard come right in the house. I'm talking about quick, bop, 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 bop. I'm like, oh, so I got my daughter in one hand, the door, I'm trying to let it go to reach to grab the lizard, but it's too late. He done got in the house, he done crawled up the wall, disappeared. So now we got a full, this lizard had to been about about that long, it's in the house, man. <laughs> I felt like a letdown, man. It's like, dang, at any point. So three days go by, now mind you, three days, sleeping in the house with a lizard in the house. It's like, dang, you don't want that crawling on you while you're sleeping, but hey, three days went by. So three days went by, we go to the bathroom, my master bathroom in our bedroom. I hit the light and it's like kind of camouflage though. It's kind of cool how these lizards get down. It's kind of camouflage and it's moving on the ground and I, my eye caught it. So instantly, you know me, I'm super aggressive. Don't want no problems with it. I'm trying to bap, 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 you know, stomp it out. But my loving wife had to remind me that this is a creature, right. a lovely respect the creature. Animals. We got to respect the animals, you know? So I had to, you know, wind it back. I had to get creative on how I'm going to catch this lizard and get it out of my house. So now, so I get a bread cup out the cabinet. You know, now I'm playing the hunting game. It's, it's creeping all up under the sink. I get it. Now I gotta, you know, scrape it under a dustpan. You know what I'm saying? Do what I do. We open up the door, we release it. You know what I'm saying? But don't nobody got time for that. You know, days later, the neighbor like, hey, Dion, I had a snake in my house. <laughs> like. Like, ooh, I don't man, know I if I want to. Yeah, in man, the back, over there, man, man. Right outside that window is where I heard rattling. Man, they be rattling, they be rattling. So, you know, the bugs. Oh, oh, let me tell y'all something. Ooh, let me tell y'all something. Forget can't can't forget the roaches, man. Listen, the roaches ain't. It ain't got nothing to do. See, back home, if you live a little, you know, a little nasty or something, they may pop out on you. That's kind of what they known for. But out here, the roaches. They don't discriminate, they don't care, they all out every day. And, and this heat out here, this heat draws them bugs out. When I tell you the roaches come out looking like that, right, out on your driveway, you minding your business, they come out and say hello. And some of them even fly, some of them hit you with the wings like oh, Yeah, man, it's a jungle out here. I don't know, if you, if you don't come from that type of environment, it's going to throw you off. What about the mosquitoes, though? Oh, the mosquitoes. They them, look like birds. Them look like baby tarantulas, okay? Them, <laughs> them, things, them things, they just long, they just Ooh, out. Too. I mean, it's just, right. it's a jungle, man. It's just some things you just got to adapt to. You know, out here, we don't got the screen door. You know, at home, you got the screen door. Right. Then you got the main door. You know what I'm saying? The screen door can catch some things. Out here, there's no screen door. It's just open the door. Hey, if you ain't quick enough, you might let a giraffe might let a snake you know in your house now nah, but other than that man yeah man hey it's a jungle out here man get ready if you're moving into the south spray on point. keep, keep that, that bug spray the, uh, what you call this the exterminators They're exterminators <laughs> listen and uh you just better hope and pray you don't get no snake or no lizard in your house that's all i can say man you don't want one of them up in there man i'm telling you it's not a game hey, it's man. not a game yeah. straight up so the next one I'd say is like, it's just a lot of land. Like, and that's not really like a bad thing, but it's just that the land is just flat. Flat, It's yeah. a lot of flat land and you just like, when you're driving or you're walking or whatever you're doing, all you see is just land and land and land and land and just a stretch of land and there's nothing else really to see. 
you know sometimes right. you barely even see trees to be so open mm -hmm. so i mean if you're into the scenery like especially if you in cali or you know um where you got mountains or some kind of scenic view or some water like there ain't really even a lot of wa water out here unless you go like obviously on the gulf coast or like in galveston or whatever but mm -hmm. if you kind of stay we stay an hour from galveston so that's been a little drive for us just to get to some water water um yeah it could be a little dry you know in terms of land and scenery so yeah it's not that exciting but not the worst the, the worst either so yeah so the next one is the super hot summers now I don't know, Dion, he ain't really, to him, that's not really like a bad thing. A not at all. Because he just loves, it's just like the scorching hot. And he likes just to be, you know, <laughs> in hell on fire all day, every day. Dang. <laughs> Dang. Because you be like in the hot, hot, and I just be like. I do, though. I do. need some breeze, you know. I need a, a fresh, uh, you know, something, you know. But, um, because it be sticky and it be hot, so. I'd say the the top of the summer, like July and August, is the worst. But the good news is that the rest of the year is manageable. Mm -hmm. It's nice. You, get, you get a long summer, but like those two months are like super super scorching. I agree so with that. and hot and humid and sticky. So you gotta take like eight showers a day as soon as you step outside. You drench and sweat. Mm -hmm. It's kind of one of those things, but yeah. Yeah. <sighs> so, da da da. What would you say is the top number one thing that you do not like about Houston? I think that's a. a I think it's a great question. All right. Now, before we get into that question, or before I answer that question, I should say, ladies and gents, this alkaline water from Costco. Alkaline, alkaline. It's the truth. Okay, Costco, baby. All right. 9.5 pH. That's it. I just want to just throw this on there, you know, because you can see on our countertop, we about to get right. It's not a game. <laughs> but to answer that question and to be honest, I ain't even going to lie. I don't even know if this a I'll give it instead of a Houston issue. I'll say a Texas issue. How about that? Fair okay. enough. Right. But the number one thing I think that was distasteful, it turned us off when we moved to Houston was the Amber Alerts. Like when I tell y'all, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the Amber Alerts out here in Texas is crazy. I've yeah. never experienced this many Amber Alerts in my entire life. And we only been here for one, one year. year. Trying to rape them so y'all need to hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husband because they're raping everybody out here. Soon as we moved here, I want to say like the second day, an Amber Alert kicked in. We like, dang, somebody missing and this, that, you know, okay. Week after that, another Amber Alert. I swear you're getting them like once a week. And anybody, sometimes, man, sometimes week, man, we just had one like, like what, two days ago? Yeah, and then another one the next day, literally. So literally. Like two, yeah. Anybody out here in Houston, Texas, trust me, y'all watching this video, Y'all know that's the truth, man. I think that right there, you know, I have two beautiful daughters, a four-year-old and a one-year-old. So, you know, it's definitely, you know, we got to tighten up, man. You know what I'm saying? Got to keep the Glock, you know. Shh, I ain't going to say nothing. Let me promote positivity, you know what I'm saying, on the channel. You feel me? <laughs> Swag. That Glock but, you know, <laughs> listen, like, that's man. the one thing where it's like you got to be protective because at any moment, you just never know. And all these ambulances, you know, if you ignoring them, I don't know what to say. So that kind of also brings in, we're going to make another video about it. To all my single females out there, I'll be seeing y'all on YouTube. Y'all moving all by y'all coming from New York and South Carolina and Idaho and moving by myself to, to Houston. Congrats. Yeah. Okay, congrats. But be safe. Please be safe, though. Be careful. You know what I'm saying? Build you a circle quick. Get to know some people because, you know, you don't want to be out here all by yourself. You know, because if you think people ain't paying attention, they pay attention. So with that being said, those are the top five negative things. The next video, we definitely gonna jump into that top five positive things we absolutely love about Houston. Cause don't, yes, lemon juice, you gonna taste it?
on camera? Come on. Juice. Come on. Yeah, so she want to taste everything. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, oh, 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 it's Lime fresh. Juice challenge. It's fresh. You fit her. Yeah. Please don't drink a lot. Just sip it. No, go ahead. Just, just take a nice, just take a nice bow. Ah, just take it down. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let me see. Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Try it again. Let me see. No, don't fuck all the. Get some more. Get some more. Get some more. I only taste a little bit. Your tongue. Mmm. Ooh! Ooh! Whoa! For the one time. <laughs> I'm just playing. It's good. So I'm gonna use this. Uh, I think this is gonna go in one of the soups. I can't remember. I saw right. a recipe that I want to try. So We're gonna hook it up, man. Anyway. Anyway, y'all be good. Be blessed, All man. Right. Eat healthy. Yeah. We hope this video helps somebody out there. That's the goal. You know what I'm saying? Because H Town to buy. H Town to buy. The pros outweigh the cons, we shall say. Pros outweigh the cons. So we'll share the, the pros soon. We'll share the pros soon. Hey, yeah. Thank you. Don't subscribe up for there. Over there. We can find us every single day. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, peace. <laughs> hey!